Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about AWS VPC. Along with VPC, we will also learn some other AWS networking concepts like uh, subnets, internet gateway, route tables, inbound and outbound rules, etc. Okay. So before I give you the formal definition of VPC, let me try to give you an idea of what VPC is using a simple analogy. Okay. So uh, I'll use this analogy of parking lot, which I found very useful uh, to understand VPC. Okay, so uh, let's assume that you own this parking lot uh, and this parking lot is inside a big city. Okay, and the big city is the AWS and this parking lot is what you own inside that city. Okay, so uh, now let's assume that you decide to put a fence around this parking lot and this fence will become your VPC. Now, once you put a fence around uh, this parking lot, the resources or uh, like the vehicles inside this parking lot will not be able to go in and out of this parking lot without your permission. Okay, so uh, imagine that these vehicles are the resources, uh, the AWS resources that you have in your uh, VPC. Okay, so uh, what if you want a few of your resources to communicate with the outside world, then you put uh, you use something called as Internet Gateway okay so now the resources inside your vpc or the vehicles inside your parking lot will be able to go in and out of this uh, parking lot or vpc uh, using this internet gateway okay now uh, inside your vpc if you observe there are three logically uh, like isolated sections okay so these isolated sections are called as subnets now if you observe only these two uh, like sections have the route to go in and out of the VPC through internet gateway and uh, these two uh, sections will be called as public subnets and uh, this section which does not have a way to go in and out of uh, the VPC will be called as private subnet okay so uh, you will deploy all your resources uh, like uh, you know the web uh, web app uh, servers or the ones which need to interact with the outside world inside public subnets and maybe the resources which uh, you want to like have an additional layer of security like your databases or uh, any other resources inside private subnet okay so uh, i hope this analogy helped you to uh, kind of understand what vpc is and uh, you know what the subnets are and what internet gateway is okay so now let's dig into the formal uh, like uh, definitions of vpc subnets and try to understand it in more detail so uh, firstly in aws we have uh, like what is called as regions so aws infrastructure is firstly divided into regions so let's assume you are using a region called like like us west one us sorry us west or us east or ap northeast whatever okay so uh, this is the region and inside the region you will have what is called as availability zones so like us east one us east two and us east three uh, things like that, okay so uh, now your vpc is but like it spans across the availability zones but is inside a particular region you your vpc cannot be like i mean in two regions right so the vpc is limited to a particular region but it can span across the availability zones now inside vpc uh, like we discussed previously we can have a private subnet and public subnet okay so in each but if you notice here the subnets are limited to a particular availability zone the subnet cannot span across like it cannot be across two availability zones okay uh, so now in each availability zones we can have a private subnet and a public subnet and we will have an internet gateway for one internet gateway for the entire uh, vpc okay so uh, now if your resources in uh, public subnet have to talk to the outside world they will do so using this uh, internet gateway okay so uh, if you notice here uh, your actual resources like ec2 instances or you know rds databases or whatever they will be present inside the subnet okay they can be present inside a public subnet or a private subnet depending on your use case usually uh, the internet facing uh, like application servers like you know web application servers or your whatever so those will be deployed uh, in a public subnet and uh, the back-end systems like your databases 
and things like that which don't need to be exposed to the internet and which only need to talk to your applications uh, will be deployed in a private subnet for extra security okay so uh, this is where your actual resources will be and these will communicate with the external outside internet using the internet gateway okay so i hope uh, this concept of uh, region and you know where the vpc fits in and uh, the subnets and the internet gateway uh, was clear okay so now let's go to aws console and see some of these things in uh, real life okay so uh, i am inside my aws console let me search for vpc so here uh, inside vpc you will see like i mean there is a vpc subnet so if you click on your vpcs uh, your aws account always comes with a default vpc so you can also create additional vpcs if you want but uh, this is the default vpc that uh, your aws account comes with okay so if you click on this vpc uh, there is all the details here and there is something called as cidr so we will discuss this uh, cidr or ciders in more detail shortly and uh, if you click here we have subnets so these are all the default subnets uh, that come with your default vpc okay and uh, if you see here this is internet gateway okay so internet gateway is the one and the company vpc component that allows your resources inside your vpc to talk to the outside uh, world or internet okay so if i select one of these subnets here and go to the route table if you see uh, there is a route uh, like for the internet gateway so this means that this subnet will be able to communicate uh, with the outside internet okay so uh, which means that this is a public uh, subnet so all the subnets like which come default uh, with your default vpc are public uh, subnets you can create a private subnet if you want okay now uh, let's try and create an ec2 instance so if i go here and click on instances there are no instances running let me click on launch instance and here if you scroll to the bottom here you will see something called as network settings so here in network settings you will have to select like the vpc in which you want to uh, create this instance in here since i have only one uh, vpc uh, it's selecting the default vpc and uh, the subnet that you want to deploy so if you want to uh, like create a new private subnet and deploy it inside that subnet you can do so and uh, you can like auto assign the public ip and you can create the security groups we will talk about uh, security groups uh, later so uh, just to give you a small idea so security group is what defines uh, like who can communicate uh, with your ec2 instance or your like any aws resource like uh, the inbound rules and the outbound rules etc so we will talk about uh, this in detail in a later or, uh, video uh, but uh, this video is to just give you a like basic sense of uh, what VP aws networking is and what is the concept of vpc okay so yeah so whenever you're creating any server or like ec2 or database you will always have to select the vpc in which you will deploy it and the subnet and uh, all those security groups and everything so this is how the aws networking works so yep i hope you uh, got a basic understanding of uh, what aws vpc is and uh, a few other concepts so in the next videos we will dig into each of these concepts like subnets and route tables internet gateways and uh, security groups etc in more detail okay so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video